Hey folks, I'm gonna do a little video here for people who don't know the difference between modified or, or square wave modified modified with digital signal uh, integrated digital signal and true sine wave. There are different levels of square wave inverters as well as a true sine wave like this one. Now, every time I do a video, I'm gonna put links down there so that you can go find items like this or these and you can read the specs. Trying to put the specs on every damn thing I do would just fill that whole thing up, nobody would read it. But you can go see it yourself, read reviews and other opinions. Now, this microwave is a West Bend. However, the only one that replaces it now is a Westinghouse. You'll see a link down at the bottom. It is a manual microwave. It draws no power, zero, while sitting. They make a six and nine cubic feet, 600 and 900 watt extremely good microwaves they have the samsung magnetrons inside them now this one over here is a is a rival okay it is a rival i think that's member of the sunbeam company um it is a tate tongue t-a-t whatever tate tongue is the name of it so what i have is i have these plugged in currently to a digital inverter that has a unique modified wave okay um, it has this one mod modified digital signal so you'll see that it has numerous steps all right in its square wave it's very close to making it a pure sine wave it's not very notchy as they say this one here would be a modified plus now that's going to be like a power bright a, um, a go power still good inverters um, this one here is more like the peak which I'll show you very very good inverter for $200 you come gets comes with the cables everything you'll see this in my previous videos if you look back where I installed the peak in my pickup truck with a um, uh, battery charger and everything going back to it from the truck that peak is is kick-ass so this right here is what the peak has so it's not exactly a square like a lot of squares and if you pull it up on an oscilloscope it's got a funny little notch that can't really be judged in a digital oscilloscope because it just so fluctuates so much but it's a lot cleaner than the square wave now this square wave is what you're going to find in something like um i don't know a durified a uh the older whistlers the older uh, cobras things like that uh, and and quite a few of the brand new stuff that's the chinese made and, and got the pretty little china girl sitting next to it six thousand watt and all that that's just this big slamming heavy notchy it goes from zero to 60 and just about 120 back and forth so you have 60 hertz cycles per second that it will go and make these notches 60 times a second over here modified plus is like the uh, the power bright 2300 a good inverter very good inverter the go powers too over here is the modified digital signal okay like this one that is quite close and will run computers LCD TVs everything else extremely well and it's quite close to the pure sine wave now there's a lot of inverter buffs that will say oh that shit don't exist you can't see it on the oscilloscope it exists and the reason it exists is they use five timing chips that overlap each other and each one of them is adjustable to set the steps and stages where it literally floats between them same with this this however has none now what I'm showing you here is I am a trucker I haul cattle for 11 and tankers I do both this is a digital microwave as you can see the digital microwave it pulls 13 watts just sitting there with his clock on doing nothing ghost load in, a, in the world of 12 volts that's an amp it's drawing an amp of power every hour down so if you have this plugged into your semi truck it's slowly pulling your battery down and conversion rate if it's 87 percent it's pulling about 1.25 amps because that's what it takes to convert you have to use power to make power this one however I'm going to give you a link to the West Bend right down there at the bottom of the video where the upload date's at and all that jazz. And that West Bend is no power, takes no energy at all, sits there. 
Now, this one on modified, they're both plugged in, okay? And on modified, you can see the, there's my battery bank right there. And there's the battery bank, big, kind of big battery bank, okay? So now, this one, I can set it to different temperature levels. Now, this doesn't make it use more watts. It always uses, in this one's case, it always uses 700 watts plus. Don't be fooled. It actually uses 1.9 times that, and that's the general industry rule, 1.9 times. So it's, it's pulling 1,350 watts, basically, when it's running, but it produces 700 watts of heating so when you buy a microwave don't think that okay i've got a 700 watt microwave so i need a 700 watt power inverter wrong i have a 700 watt power, uh, microwave that draws 1500 watts and in its first one second of startup can draw as high as 2000 watts real quick like and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you get at least a 2300 like the power bright and there'll be a link down there for that one too to run one of these this over here it will run and its clock will almost function correctly on this it'll function perfect on this which is what this big huge mean well is here's a sharpie and you can get an idea it's it's really a big inverter so the the microwave here this one can only really operate good on this one and this one because it has digital circuitry that controls all the functions when it cycles on when it cycles off nothing works right and if you're a truck driver you know what i mean and you can almost see a little bit of a flicker in here because it's currently hooked up to this one which puts out this signal still runs good but not as good as that so if you're going to put a microwave in your travel trailer in your semi truck and you're going to run it off of an inverter which one do you want one that uses no power or one that constantly uses power or you have to plug in and out all the time this one now you can hear the difference unmodified turn it on you hear it running not very loud nice timer easy to use and if you're in a semi truck door doesn't come open very easy closes very well same as same with the westinghouse basically they're the same identical microwave it just westinghouse took over the job of building them so this one however a little different listen to that you hear it humming it doesn't like that voltage very much it'll run on it but it's pulling a lot of power a lot of power to do this and when i run it on 30 seconds i've timed this so actually when i run this on a three minute cycle it actually runs three minutes and 19 seconds but it shows three minutes it's just a digital system is completely out of whack on these now when you decide that you're going to get a microwave for off-grid tiny home anything that's going to use and you want to reduce your power usage that'll run you almost five bucks a year just plugged in and if you got a bigger microwave they'll run more they got a ready circuitry that makes them always ready this however six cubic feet to nine cubic feet which is a lot has plenty of room you can put a full-size dinner plate in here no problem at all it's got a 10 inch here this is 10 inch and 11 inch plate will fit all clearance you got plenty of clearance this actually, this microwave here actually has fell over in my truck. Didn't get damaged, didn't even pop open. This microwave got removed from my truck because the door kept popping open as I drove down the road. That's why, that's why I got rid of it. This one here is 700 watts. However, it actually uses around 1600 to fire, to run. This one over here only uses, just it uses under 1500. They both heat with 700 watts of energy but they require an inverter almost three times that wattage to run them so be sure when you go to buy your inverters that you know exactly what you're talking about 
And for you guys who are watching my uh, my solar installs, I have two more of these now, and we're going to be putting them in to remove all the rest of this, and they'll be going in up here. The first one is currently in the travel trailer and working great. We'll be doing a video on that for those of you who have asked. All of this is information you really need to know about inverters. And the more you get up in the grade, the more efficiency you get. The less you're in grade, the less efficiency. 85%, 87%, 90%, and 90%. That means the conversion rate of your amperage into output wattage means more. You just have to look at what you're working with. But that microwave and its sister microwave, the Westinghouse, is the best option for tiny homes, truck drivers, anybody who wants a perfectly good operating microwave that'll run off of any kind of inverter, this one. This one, however, getting sold on Craigslist. That one's going back in the truck. All right, guys, look for the information on it. Subscribe, and any questions, ask. I'll give you best answers I can.